connection to this, uh, this uh, okay. brand. Uh, there's a wingtip uh, uh, model right. uh, which I wore. It's especially written in my screenplay namesake. Oh wow. Yeah. And that's, that's the shoe when I come to uh, visit uh, or see um, uh, Tabu, Tabu's character. Right. So she, that's, the, that's the first thing she noticed about me. Amazing. And today those are the first things I've noticed about you as well. Uh, so you always manage to look very, very dapper. So is there a secret behind it? Uh, I, I don't give a lot of you know time for that. It's, it's just that you know I, I, I need my comfort very much. Right. And something, you know, something which, which you know I just instinctively which I like. Correct. It should make me feel comfortable, it should make me feel nice. Right. About right. So are you more of a formal dresser or more casual? I uh, only for occasions I wear formal. Otherwise, I'm, I prefer casual. And, uh, and casual, I prefer a gypsy, more of a gypsy. Some element of gypsy. Style. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. that's that's new. That's really interesting. Amazing. So your sorry. So what's your go-to look for the red carpet? See, red carpet is always uh, they have to. You have to wear uh, tax. But given a choice, I would rather wear uh, waistcoat, shirt, and trousers. Right. And Keep avoid, avoid, avoid jacket. Yeah, lovely, lovely. We'd love to see you in that for sure on your red, next red carpet appearance. So, um, having talked about red carpets and you're no stranger to them, uh, tell us a little bit about your experience in Hollywood. It's been a life changing experience, a great experience. It just makes me more uh, inspired about my work. And it, 
it's 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 demanding, it's engrossed, and in acting, if you are not engrossed in your work, it could be very boring. So, and uh, I've been working with directors, which are you know, it was uh, it's, it's impossible. It's like you cannot even uh, dream to work with them. They're just so. Uh, it's, it's just. Uh, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true, and I never imagined it. I never dreamt of working with them. They're so. You know, I've been you know, really fortunate that I've worked with them. It's right. been great, great experience. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the directors you've worked with, the different styles of working. See, every director, like every actor, has its own style. They have to develop their own style. Right. Although you can, you can, you can study in a same institute and you can study same uh, course or same formulas but you have to at one point of time you have to come up with your own method, with your own style and that's how the directors are you know sometimes the director create a story through you he just observes you he sees what you are doing yeah. and from that he needs the story sometimes few directors have their own uh, you know map mm -hmm. and they nudge you towards that so they have all have you know different styles. The they have different style of working, different style of preparation. Mm -hmm. Some directors, you know, they don't discuss this uh, the script at all. They just you sit there and they just chat right. a lot, and it just make you easy. A few directors they want to discuss the character a lot. Really but I would I yeah. yeah personally I don't like reading a lot before mm -hmm. going for the shoot. I would rather accumulate whatever comes uh, and see it when I start doing it, that's the time you start building the character. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I, do, I, do, I don't do a lot of readings because it, it just, you know, I, I, I don't function well when, mm -hmm. when you know, there are a lot of readings before, before right. the shoot. Right. Okay. Amazing. You're more spontaneous. Um, so, who's the most stylish person you've ever worked with in Hollywood? It has <laughs> to be Angelina Jolie. Absolutely. Of course. Of course. Uh, so, Johnson Murphy is called the U.S. Presidential Footwear. Uh, every U.S. President wears a custom-made Johnson Murphy shoe. So, who, according to you, is the most stylish U.S. President? See, for me, it's... Uh, president being stylish is... Uh, I think these two things, style and being president, mm -hmm. they don't complement each other. Let Fair me explain enough. why. See, the pres president's job is to improve the society, to serve people. Style doesn't matter, actually. For me, uh, Lincoln and Kennedy were, you know, people who were trying to uh, take the society at to, to a different level. Right. Uh, if I give you an example, you need water, and you dig a well, mm -hmm. and you have a well, you know, very nicely shaped well, uh, nice, you know, uh, surrounding around it, but if you don't have water in it, uh, there's the no point, point of being, uh, you True. know. So for me, uh, style for president, you know, it, it, it's his inner style which, which matters a lot. Absolutely. Well said. Uh, so coming to you, what is your signature Johnson Murphy style? Uh, winged, wing tipped right. is, is my, you know, favorite and it will never, it will never date. Absolutely. It will always be fresh. Yes. Yeah. It will yes. always be in style and it will always be, uh, you know, it will it never go out of fashion. Correct. Absolutely. And um, what's your one quick style tip for our beautiful audience here today? I think <laughs> <laughs> you have to find your own style and, and to find your own style, you have to start celebrating yourself. Absolutely. When you start celebrating yourself, you find your own style. Fair enough. That's amazing. Um, you've always managed to look effortlessly stylish. Do you spend a lot of time getting ready or is it truly effortless? No, it's not effortless. It takes time and sometimes I don't like it. <laughs> sometimes when you have to wear formals and you have to go to some occasions, uh, it takes time. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it takes time to choose clothes and you know what, what you'll feel nice and what is the occasion. Sometimes it will take time, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, what are some of your pre-workday rituals? I mean, things you do before, like you start your day or you never miss doing this on a daily basis. Are there some things like that? Uh, like my daily routine. <laughs> uh, you know, like everybody, whatever everybody does, you know, it's, I don't have any fixed style, but uh, fixed uh, routine. Uh, sometimes I like to work out, sometimes I don't, sometimes, you know, I just want to lay, lay around, you know. Uh, I don't.
and and that's what I like about my job. Right. I don't need to fall into a routine. Correct. Um, you were absolutely amazing in Life of Pi. May I say that it's one of my favorite films. I've watched it multiple times, over and over. Every time it's on TV, I make sure I'm like stopping everything else I'm doing and watching it's it. Special film. <laughs> yes, it, it absolutely is. Um, so, what are some of the movies you can watch anywhere, anytime? There are few directors I can watch anytime, anywhere. Uh, Kislovsky, um, uh, Inaritu. Uh, um, uh, there's a, there's a uh, uh, British director, Stanley Kubrick. Mm -hmm. I love him. I can watch his movies anytime, as many times, you know, I can. I can, I can watch them again and again. Uh, and there are a few more directors, you know, I, I'm forgetting the names, but uh, like Godard, right. uh, I can watch him again and again. Uh, I, I don't want to, because movies, there's so many movies, but mm -hmm. these directors are, in, are my, you know, they're, they're very, very important for me they have they have played a major role in shaping my sensibilities okay so before we move on <clears throat> what do you love most about johnson murphy and their collection here today i know you've you mentioned see, the winged it many times <laughs> no I, I think the the uh, what i like about it with, with any shoe is the simplicity uh the comfort right. and style Absolutely. simplicity with style yeah and comfort is very, very important. And all these three things are there in, in this. Absolutely. That's what they signify. Um, okay, so now for some qu quick, fun questions. Some rapid fire. All right? Okay. So, sing in the shower or sing to a crowd? To a crowd. Not now. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Okay. Movies or theater? I, I cannot choose between these two because they, they have to be, both have to be, you know, they have to be there. But I'm telling you, a movie can go out, you know, movie can uh, just, uh, you know, theatre will never die. True. But movies could die. You can make movies without human beings, but you cannot make theatre without uh, human beings. Right? Absolutely. Tom Hanks or Amitabh Bachchan? Tom Hanks. Right. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I need many more superpowers. I want to, I want to have a power where I could die consciously and see what lies beyond death and come back again. Okay. And I want to travel time. Wow. I want to uh, uh, have a power to, to change people's thinking. Mm -hmm. Like if I have power to change uh, Hitler's mind, I could right. force him to follow Gandhism yeah. or, or, or make him uh, love Jews, you know. Or there are so many politicians here, I could change their mind if I could change. I would love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note. Um, uh, also, I want to fly. And fly, of course. What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? <laughs> uh, I was in Florence uh, just a few, few days back, a mm -hmm. few, few weeks back, and somebody came and asked me, are you Johnny Depp? <laughs> That's not Are the you way it is. He was confused, and I I don't look like him at all. I don't know why 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 she said that. <laughs> That's interesting. Tigman Shudulia or Vishal Bharadwaj? No, I don't want to choose between these two. Both 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 are very important to me. Absolutely. Given a choice, what would you watch? Jane Bidu Yaro or the original Golmal? Ah. Uh, Jane Bidu Yaro. Critical acclaim or box office success? In Hollywood, critical acclaim, box office uh, is always there. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Hollywood, both. In India, box office. All right. Black shoes or brown shoes? Brown. Right. Three-piece suit or tuxedo? Tuxedo. And what would your look to the Oscars be? I wish I could, I could have different color uh, tuxedos, right. not just the black. Amazing. Thank you so much, Irfan. This is amazing. It's been Thank amazing you so having you here. And I'm sure our lovely audience here would want a few questions with you. So we have time for three quick questions. Any lucky three who have some questions for Irfan here? You have covered everything. <laughs> That's true. Great. Looks like they just are completely mesmerized by you.
फेटिश नहीं मेरी नेसेसरी है मेरी ज़रूरत है शू और वाटर में अगर मेरे पास शू कंफर्टेबल नहीं है तो मैं आज मैं आई डोंट फील वेरी यू नो एक्साइटेड अबाउट माय वाटर मेरे लिए बहुत ज़रूरी है शू का स्टाइलिश होना और उसका कंफर्ट पहली चीज़ कंफर्ट उसका फिर स्टाइल और सिंपलिसिटी यूज कलेक्शन होगा फिर होते हैं लेकिन वो कई बार क्या होता है कि आप एक शू लेते हो फैशन के लिए इतने फिर वो बेकार हो जाता है जैसे तो शू कभी भी ज़्यादा नहीं होते हमेशा कम पड़ते हैं जहाँ भी आप जाते हो तो मैं सबसे पहले शू ही की शॉपिंग करता हूँ खास तौर से यूरोप में अगर आप जा रहे हो तो पहले आप जो खरीदना चाहते हो पहले शूज़ फिर जैकेट्स अभी हाल ही में हमने पढ़ा था कि जल्द रिलीज हुई आपकी हिंदी मीडियम हाँ हिंदी मीडियम उसमें सबा कमर भी है तो क्या ये कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी के बाद वो है या क्या स्टेटस है वो जानना देखेंगे अगर वो फिल्म से ऐसे गायब हो जाए कोई अगर मंत्र हमें मिल जाए कि वो फिल्म से गायब हो जाए कोई और रिप्लेस हो जाए तो वैसा होगा अभी तो टाइम है और उस तब तक कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी रहेगी नहीं रहेगी हमें पता नहीं और फिल्म की डेट अभी रिलीज डेट अभी अनाउंस नहीं हुई है रिलीज देखेंगे कब होती है हमने सुना सलमान खान की अगली प्रोडक्शन क्या कर रहे हैं वो अभी अनाउंस हुई है हाँ जी आप कर रहे हैं जी जी थैंक यू सभा कमर शायद यहाँ किसी से शादी कर ली उन्होंने यहाँ अभी इंडियन हो गई मुझे सुना मैंने अच्छा